I have your attention, please. The show starts in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Time is now. I'm Trent, and this is Vision Preparedness. The time is now. is now good morning everyone how is everybody doing on this amazing frosty chilly some parts of the country snowy united states of america good morning everybody thank y'all for joining me for coffee talk this morning i hope everybody is having an amazing morning so far coffee first then speak Gotta love coffee, y'all. And uh, this morning I am drinking uh, Nutrient Survival Brain Coffee, which is the most nutritious packed vitamin coffee on the planet. Check it out. Get some. Go on over to Nutrient Survival's website. Don't forget to use the coupon code VISION10 to save 10%. And we'll talk more about that. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Pilgrim, my man. Good morning. Good to see you again. Thank you, Dan H. for 5x5. Five five. You keep your eyes on the road. I see you driving. Keep your eyes on the road. Nine and three or 10 and two. And I know in mass it's cold, so you can't roll down the window, throw out the left arm and use the right hand at one o'clock and give yourself a little lean you can't do it, bro. It's cold in Massachusetts. So get over, drive safe, keep your eyes on the road. Good to see you. Much tested. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Holly Ives, good morning. Down the rabbit hole with D. Good morning. Good to see you. How are you this morning? Welcome in. Teresa, thank you for throwing more wood on the fire because it is chilly in here. Y'all come on in, scoot over, scooch over, step around, step over and walk past and say good morning. Be polite, as always. And come on in. We're going to have a great time this morning. Grateful Preps NJ, good to see you. Much tested. Welcome in. My sister Loretta, good to see you. How are you? My man, Salty Dog, is in the building, so we can continue this morning's live chat. Good morning. Love and life. Family, I saw that short in springtime. Y'all got snow, snow, and more snow. How much snow did y'all end up with? Because it's springtime and there should be no snow. But guess what? <laughs> y'all got snow. Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well this morning and uh, having a great day. Saffron Bay. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Got to have more coffee. 
Oops, welcome in. Good morning. Good morning. Who else we got in the building this morning? Saffron Bay, much tested. My man, Ed, you're right. That dude that's saying he's going to take over houses. You know what? He's going to be found unalive, uh, plain and simple. My brother, Devil Dog, good morning, my brother. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are doing well. My Renaissance grandma, telling y'all, that lady right there, not only is she amazing, not only is she sweet, not only is she a gardener, but I'm telling y'all, she makes the best soap in the business because it smells good, it's refreshing, and it will cause a riot. That's how good it is. So y'all need to check out my Renaissance Grandma's website, Southern Tier Prepper. Good morning. Thank you for the coffee. I know that's right, bro. Get it done. Get it done. Get it done. Coffee is a way of life. Good morning to you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Dawn E., good to see you. Welcome in. Y'all just pouring in here by the numbers. Little Lone Preppers in the building. Good to see you as well. Who else we got that I have not, may not have spoken to? Teresa, I spoke to you. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Anybody got any, before we dive into today's topics and all of that good stuff, anybody doing anything fun today? Because, you know, laughter makes the heart warm. Good morning, Karen. Good to see you. and Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. That's right. Down the rabbit hole with D said, I want to learn how to make soap. I there's, I know Love and Life makes soap. I know my Renaissance grandma makes soap that she sells on her Etsy store. But uh, yes, I want to learn how to do it, but I just won't take the time to do it. I know me and yes, but I'm sure once I try it, I will do it more. CUCV Farmers in the building. Good to see you. Good to see you. D Down the rabbit hole with D said, I'm shoveling. Yes, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Tracy Winbush. Good morning. Welcome in. She said it's cold in Cleveland. I know it's cold in Cleveland because here in the lower half, central Ohio, it is 33 degrees. The COO took out cold this morning, and he wasn't out there long. He did what he needed to do, and he made a beeline back in the house. So, um, uh, yes, I do. Uh, Coffee first asked Vision, do you have a code for Jace Case? Yes, it is actually in the description. And if I can find it for you, uh, I will paste it in the chat for you, Coffee. How is that? Uh, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Here it is right here. Look at that, coffee. Got it for you. Jace Case. Folks, if anybody is looking for a Jace Case, I just posted it in the chat. There you go. And I hope everybody's doing well this morning. Um, Dawn, down the rabbit hole with D said she's shoveling. Uh, Southern Tier Prepper said hunkering down and cleaning house. Critters already fed and watered. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes. Oh, Dancy, congratulations and happy birthday to your dad. 96. That is awesome. Give Dancy's dad a happy birthday. Shout out, folks, if you don't mind, because this man is of the tender age of 96. And he has seen more mayhemicness, more turmoil than we all have. And congratulations. Tell him I said happy birthday. Let's see. What else y'all doing? Um, Teresa said, going out to breakfast and shopping with my mom without the kids. Yay! That's awesome. Isn't that a great feeling, Teresa? That's a great feeling. Yes, I went and picked up Junior from school yesterday. He came home for the weekend, so um, he's doing his thing. Doing his thing. Uh-oh, there you go, Karen. Going to the uh, seed dispenser show today and then to the feed store. First freedom seeds, then garden seeds. There you go. See, that's a woman who's got her priorities in line Going to the seed store, then going to the gardening seed store. There you go, Karen. 
That's what's happening. That's how we do it. And uh, keep on doing the things that you do, folks. It is absolutely insane. And Loretta is probably doing the best thing today of anybody. She said, I ain't doing anything. Getting ready to go to Florida. Got to check on my parents. They are old. Dad is 89 and mom is 86. Loretta, you have safe travels. Do me a favor. When you get down there and you see mom and dad, give mom a big old VP kiss on the forehead and say, mom, that was from Vision. I know you don't know him, but that was from him. And tell your dad, I said, hello. You be safe down there. Pibble Mama, good morning. Good morning. I hope you are doing well. Holly said it's raining in New Jersey. Woo-wee. Yeah, I, it rained here a couple of days, and, and I just don't get it. I, I'm, I'm ready for some nice spring weather, maybe a, a, a nice weekend with a bunch of like-minded people at something I think it's called the Bug Out Weekend. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on the Bug Out Weekend. But anyway, let's dive right into our uh, first story here this morning, folks. Um, uh, my Renaissance grandma said, there are tons of YT videos on soap making. Absolutely learn to make all your chemical-free toiletries. Yes, indeed, my Renaissance grandma, you are 1,000% correct. And as far as I'm concerned, you are one of the best, if not the best in the business, because I've had your soap. That's all I can speak for is what I've had, what I've tried, what I've smelled. And the first time that I actually uh, got some of my Renaissance grandma's soap, I was attacked. There were people in this house, in, in the castle, that wanted my soap. And they were going to take my soap no matter what. And I literally had to hide my soap. And then next thing I hear is, that's not fair. I said, you're right. It's not fair. It's my soap. And I think I ended up giving two bars of soap to two of the people in this house. And I was like, really? So anyway, first story, folks. I, 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 I don't know if they passed this in the cover of darkness or what they did. But apparently, apparently, the Senate passes a mammoth $1.2 trillion spending package after a brief partial government shutdown. The sixth bill, the sixth bill government funding package now heads to Grandpa Ice Cream's desk. And let's hear what Chip Roy has to say about the spending bill. I want to read from my next guest his his first sign that this was not his cup of tea. It's total lack of backbone, total lack of leadership, but a total failure by Republican leadership. There's no other way to describe it. And he's a Republican, a pretty prominent one at that. I'm talking about Texas Republican Chip Roy. Congress are not happy. Why not? Hey, Neil, good to be on. I mean, look, uh, I've, I've got great friendships here in the Republican conference. Happy to work with them to try to stop the deluge from the radical progressive Democrats that are trying to undo the American way of life and have wide open borders. But you know what? We actually have to deliver. This is not that. This is the opposite of that. You saw right now, we have Bill Malugin out there reporting, great Fox reporting as always. We have our Border Patrol and people in National Guard getting overwhelmed right now in El Paso with a flood of migrants flooding across the border. We're going to fund that. That's what Republicans are going to do in this bill. We're going to continue to fund that. If you care about the border, you're getting nothing here. It is completely false to say that we're getting anything here that will help. And in fact, what we're going to get is more money to process more people, which means you're going to get more people at the border. Nothing is going to stop the flow of the border in this bill. So we're funding open borders. We're funding the mass releases of people on, in violation of the law, using parole, the same laws that were violated to release the individual who came in and killed Lake and Riley. I can't do that. No Republican should. Any Republican who votes for this bill should be ashamed of themselves. If you care about inflation, this bill spends at a higher level than Nancy Pelosi. This bill continues the regulatory assault on American hard workers through the climate agenda by the radical progressive Democrats, and we do nothing to seriously unwind it. You're not going to combat inflation while you're regulating us to death, while you're spending more money than we have. You can't beat inflation that way, and now you're seeing the Fed wrestle with it in real time, where they're trying to figure out what 
what to do. And, you know, they want to cut rates, but they're not sure they can. Why? Because we have some stagflationary pressures that we're trying to manage right now. Well, so you're a this no bill vote. will do it nothing to like address that. It sounds like you're definitely a no vote, Congressman. And you talk that no Republican should vote for this. If they heed your advice, uh, we are definitely going to shut down on Saturday, right? Well, look, the government continues to operate. You know that. And it's only like 85% of the government never shuts down anyway. And we have laws in place to pay for people. The bottom line is we should pass a CR for two weeks, let the American people see what's in this bill. They will reject it. No Republican, I promise you, would vote for this bill once their constituents looked at it and saw the absurdities. Speaker the Johnson looked. Notice, notice, notice how he said, put a spending bill together and let the people look at it. And 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 folks, that's how they pass. You you are supposed to pass spending bills. Let us, we the people, see completely what's in it. This is a bunch. You're right, coffee. This is a bunch of BS, and it's a spending package that is our hard-earned dollars and cents spent on pure debauchery, and to take care of the invaders that are coming into our country. I am ticked off and fired up about this. I am horrified. You're right, devil dog. It's absolute disgusting. 1.2 trillion waste for freaking money. Shut them down till they can figure out how to balance a budget and reduce the BS spending. I am with you, my friend, 1 million percent. Don't get me started. Don't get me started. But spending bills should be exposed completely to we the people. We. Did you hear what he said? He said, let the people reject it. That's what it's all about. Unnecessary spending. I am just, Joe Morgan, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Virginia Bushcrafter, I think I saw you slide in here. Good morning, good morning. Bet Prep, good morning, good morning. I hope you are doing well this morning, folks. I'm fired up. I'm trying to calm down. And Devil Dog is right. I got some rest. And I am raring to go. Now, here's here's this next story. I was like, oh, man, really? Now, now y'all going to make me look at this and, and see how I do this? So here, here's, here's the deal. Devil Dog said uh, Egypt got $13 million from Egyptian college tuition. To hell with America, kids who needs help right now. Exactly. Exactly. The education system in this country is broken, period. End of story. Don't get me to go down that rabbit hole, devil dog, but I appreciate you calling it out. Um, now, uh, exactly, Ed. You're absolutely right. He said, every 100 days, our national debt increases by $1 trillion with no slowing. You're right. Absolutely correct. Journey 58 now. Good morning. Welcome in. Good to see you. You're absolutely right. Grateful preps in J. I'm 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 with you. I'm with you. Grandpa Ice Cream can go sail on the love boat. Happy Matt. Good morning, my brother. Pibble Mama. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Um, so with that, folks, our next story, Tamika Davis. Welcome in. Good morning. How are you? Get a cup of Joe, cup of tea, cup of Bob, cup of Tom, whatever it may be. Come on in, sit down. I am in rare form this morning because I got some sleep last night and I fell asleep last night and I think Mad Chad was deploying knife hands over on Whoop Fang's channel. I have no idea, but uh, here I am on Saturday morning, raring to go and it's cold outside and I brought fruit trees and I had to cover them up and I hope they're not frozen. And I'm, yeah, it's all kind. Official J. Mia, good morning. She said, I'm listening and working. Good morning to you, Official J. Mia. Do me a favor, take a cup of, sip of that hot cup of coffee and breathe and work through the day. Good to see you. Celtic Grandma, welcome in, welcome in. Okay, folks, this is for y'all in the chat. Adriana Turner, good morning. How are you? Welcome in. For everybody in the chat that loves shrimp, put a one in the chat. If you like shrimp, if you delight in shrimp and shrimp fettuccine and shrimp this and shrimp that, put a one in the chat for me, folks, please. I, I need to take a quick but 
harmless survey. We got a five from coffee. Ed says one. Little Lone Prepper says one. Planet B in Idaho. Good to see you. Good morning, says one. Official J. Mia says one. <laughs> Jennifer Ocean Homestead. Jennifer said ew, zero. Down the rabbit hole, one, one. Teresa says, nope, no way. It makes me throw up. Okay, now, yeah, loving life's zero. Loretta says, I'm allergic to it. Okay, so with that, folks, for all of you amazing people that love the seafood, shrimp, shrimp, scampi, shrimp this, shrimp that, um, I'm getting ready to bust your bubble. And and I like shrimp too. So, you know, this, this is not... Um, good well it is but it isn't and 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 i'll say this uh apparently uh ap paul ap associate press finds grueling conditions in india shrimp industry that report calls dangerous and abusive so uh there is a new recipe or Norkia Kumwa, I butchered the name, was excited to try a new recipe she saw on social media. So her and her husband scampered to Costco, and her husband, they headed to Costco's frozen food aisle, and then when she grabbed a bag of farm-raised shrimp from the freezer and saw product of India, she wrinkled her nose. So What's going on with India's shrimp industry? Let's listen in and find out. Americans eat more shrimp than any other seafood. In 2023, the U.S. imported 1.7 billion pounds of the shellfish. The demand for shrimp has helped create a thriving industry thousands of miles away. In the past decade, India has become one of the leading exporters of shrimp. That comes at a cost. Indian shrimp is incredibly problematic for our environment and human rights as a whole. In the coastal town of Talarevu, the Associated Press found dozens of women working barefoot inside a small, unmarked processing shed. Here, they peel mounds of ice-covered shrimp, twist the heads, pull off the legs, and pluck the tails. Some do the work with gloves, others barehanded. It's a common scene in Talarevu where women desperate to earn a living, like Penapatala Ratnam, will take whatever work they can find. Arugula baby is another daily worker. This lady baby is a widow who recently lost her son to liver disease. Day. She's raising her granddaughters and paying off more than $8,000 in debt. She makes less than $4 a day peeling shrimp. $2 less than India's daily minimum wage. Minimum wage Workers like Baby say they pay a recruiter about 25 cents each day just to step foot inside the processing shed. Transportation is also deducted from salaries. They're paying in other ways, too. According to a new report by the Corporate Accountability Lab, worker exploitation is common throughout India's shrimp industry. Workers are subjected to dangerous working conditions, often without appropriate protective gear, commonly developing frostbite. Because of this extreme temperatures, like cold temperatures or too much of wetness, they'll be getting this fungal infection. Dermatologist Sushmita Mehra says on average she sees four to five shrimp workers each day with skin problems. And with continuous change, if they neglect, then there'll be amputation. If you 
और ये खराब का निकलते थे नीचे ये पहले ये इसमें से लेके जाता हम लोग बचपन से वो अंदर का पानी वो भी खराब हो गया India's booming shrimp industry isn't just raising concerns about labor abuse. Locals say it's damaging the environment too. Shrimp ponds have been dug into fields and mangroves, destroying ecosystems. Pani pura kharab ho gaya. Pehla ye gaon ke aage aas paas wala kitna saaf aad gaon wala likhi jata tha idhar se pani. Wo log idhar aate nahi. Ha. Hum log roz bar ye dabba kharidta tha. 20 rupaye dabba. In 2014, construction began on a nearly 60-acre seafood processing plant in West Godavari, prompting immediate protest from residents. Since opening in 2019, Koya Sampat Rao says that about one third of the 400 people in his village have moved out. बहुत बास आते हैं रात को कितना बारह बजे सवेरे छः बजे एकदम सांस लेने के भी अपना ये होते हैं About a mile away, residents are also feeling the impacts of the processing plant. Okay, so basically, in India, folks, uh, working conditions are not the best for women that work in the processing plant, and it is damaging the. I'm doing air quotes for those listening. The environment. So you know. If you want shrimp, would you avoid shrimp from India? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an environmentalist. I'm a carnivore. I like meat. I like Angus beef. I like porterhouse steak with mashed potatoes and asparagus. I don't know. So just be mindful of uh, the shrimp. Exactly, Southern Tier Prepper. Who can afford shrimp anymore, anyway? Yes, yes. And the thing is, meat is meat. I like meat. I'm a carnivore, caveman. Me want meat. Yeah. So that's just a little side note about um, shrimp in India. They're taking over the fields, and 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 if you were reading or could see the subtitles of the people speaking in their native language, uh, some of the ponds are taking the water that people drink from, in order to make it. Um, I'm with the official J. Mia, right? Definitely going to read the labels more closely. Absolutely, yeah. Now, Joe said, "I can't afford to be picky." Good morning, Joe. Good to see you, my brother. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Prepper Book Club, I see you slide in here, my brother. Good morning. Good morning. There you are. Good morning. Hi, hi, Stalker Supreme. Hat coffee first. Good to see you, Prepper Book Club. Good morning, my brother. But yeah, so just read the labels carefully, folks. You know, we 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 have to. Make sure that the food is real food first of all. Okay, remember when imitation crab meat first came out? Ew. Yeah. So read the labels. Do what you can. Um, I'm with you, little lone prepper. I don't have any shrimp in my preps. I can do without it, and so can I. I can too. I can too. But it's good to get some fresh shrimp every now and again. Throw it on the barbie and have a good steak. With it, um, Plan B Idaho said. So now we should not eat shrimp, but eat grasshoppers instead. It is sad that a country that can afford one of the seven wonders of the world and have nuclear capability keep their people in poverty. I'm with you, Plan B. Yeah, yes, exactly, Ed. I get mine through the Amish. They get theirs from Brazil. Absolutely. There you go. There you go. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yeah, I'm. Um, yeah, you're right, Jennifer. Right. Never give seafood to dogs. Nope. Never. No way. No how. Look at this. Good. This. Good morning. Great morning. The educated natural, also known as two times five. Good morning. Thank you for stopping in and joining us for coffee talk. I hope you have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or whatever it is that the educated mind of the educated natural drinks. Good to see you. Thank you for stopping in this morning. Hope you're having a great day wherever you may be in these great states of America.
by the way, folks, all of you amazing content creators that are in the chat, please, I think Professor Shad is sleeping in this morning, but if you would kindly type the word vision and it will drop a link to your channel. Folks, go over and see some of these amazing content creators you may not be familiar with. Check out a video, watch the whole video, leave a like, and leave a comment. Because if you watch a video and you leave a comment, it helps the YouTube insanity algorithms. We all grow together. Nobody can grow on their own. And, and if you do grow on your own, then you are from a, another planet. But we all grow together. So check out some of these amazing content creators, folks, and uh, tell them I sent you if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. If so, please do. And thank you. Um, let's see. What else we got here? So, I, you know, I try to find stuff that the world... Okay, so I'll talk about it. Didn't read the article. But apparently Moscow was attacked last night. And the roaming prepper was texting me and showing me videos that he posted on YouTube that got taken down. And but on Instagram, it got a warning of uh, supposedly, allegedly, I'm doing air quotes for those listening. Uh, ISIS claimed responsibility of the theater in Moscow that was attacked and 40 some people, I think, were killed, hundreds hurt, so forth and so on. And that's that story. Um, yeah. Journey. That's right. Said, I have, n I have not have shrimp in years. Too expensive. And you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. It is. So with that, um, you know, so there's an, an attack in Moscow. Some people lost their lives. And that is truly sad and uh, not good at all. But. You know, that's 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 kind of like life. Um, but in more news, folks, let me share this story here. Uh, and I didn't know anything about this until I read it and saw it. U.S. sanctions Nicaragua's attorney general over human rights concerns. So the U.S., I, I wish they would take care of home instead of worrying about other folks where we have homeless veterans, hungry children, homeless children in the greatest country on the planet. And uh, they're going to sanction Nicaragua's attorney general over human rights concerns. Uh, the Grandpa's Ice Cream Circus says uh, Morale Urbina exploited her office to facilitate a coordinated campaign to, dis, to suppress dissent. And the United States has imposed sanctions on Nicaragua's attorney general for what is said, says in her role in the government's unjust persecution of political prisoners and civil society. Wendy Carolina Morales Urbina who has been the attorney general since 2019. This is insane. She's been attorney general since 2019, has exploited her office to facilitate a coordinated significant reduction in video quality. Oh, well, whatever, who cares? Um, so that she has uh, abused her power. Uh, to facilitate a coordinated campaign to suppress dissident by seizing property from government political opponents without a legal basis. Brian Nelson, the U.S. Department of the Treasury's Undersecretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, said in a statement on Thursday, Really, dude? That's your title? Your title is the U.S. Department of Treasury's Undersecretary for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence. Morales uh, led efforts to take property from 222 political prisoners who were put on a flight to the U.S. in 2023 and stripped of their Nicaraguan nationality. What in the blue blazes is going on here? That, that's insanity. Big chap, welcome in. Good morning. Good to see you, my brother. 
hope you are doing well. I, I don't I don't get it. Uh, Joe Morgan says Russia is the wrong place to pick a fight with terror. They send in spits in clean house. Yes, indeed. You're absolutely right, Joe. They do. Well, we'll see what happens. But anyway, so that's the deal in Nicaragua. The U.S. and the undersecretary of whoever, whatever and whatever put uh, sanctions on Nicaragua's attorney general. I didn't know you could sanction one person. I thought you had to sanction a country. But apparently you can sanction one person. And that is very interesting. And the bottom line for me personally, who cares? Um, I'm with you, salty dog. That's right. Grandpa ice cream and the circus can all climb back in their tiny little car, wind it up and roll it off a short bridge. Now, on a more serious note, did you folks know that there is a global water crisis fueling more conflicts? The UN reports, oh, the UN people, the UN, the most important thing on the planet, they are talking about a global water crisis. Let's listen in briefly, if it'll play. This is a UN's flagship report on the state of the world's freshwater resources, and it doesn't paint a pretty picture. Today, 2.2 billion people live without access to safely managed drinking water, and approaching half of the world's population do not have adequate or safe sanitation. Indeed, in poorer countries, up to 90% of wastewater is discharged directly into the environment without treatment. Every single day around the world, 1,000 children die from illnesses caused by contaminated drinking water. All this drives migration as millions move in search of fresh and safe supplies, adding further strain on resources where the migrants settle, fueling social tensions. An armed conflict can have near catastrophic impacts on civilian water infrastructure. Think of the targeted attacks on storage and treatment plants in Ukraine, in Gaza and in Sudan. As climate change adds to the strain on water supply, the UN report calls for a global effort to provide water equally for everyone. It is, after all, a human right. Okay, there you have it, folks. Water is a human right. There's a global water crisis. We've been talking about prepping water for ever since the beginning of time. Three days without water. You can only go three days, not two, three. Three days without water. Um, Ed said people have to rem remember our CIA, CIA is the reason we have Banana Republic. That's why Nicaragua is upset. You're absolutely right, Ed, and I agree with you 1,000%. M&T cooking and living. Good morning. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes, absolutely. You know, folks. There is a water crisis, so prep water, do what you can do, do what you have to do, and you too will survive, just like the rest of us. But yes, um, it, it's, you know, when you displace people because of war and rumors of war, and you herd them to an area where not only do you, they know, and I'm talking about Grandpa Ice Cream in a circus and all of their little clowns and everybody else, you herd people to areas forcefully in the name of war and relocation. You, you always relocate them to an area where there is no water. Of course, there's going to be a water crisis. I, don't get me started. Yeah, exactly. You know, like uh, one of my favorite... Uh, uh, prophets Robert McCall said, everybody prays for rain, but you got to deal with the mud too. That's right. Oops. Thank you for that. Because that reminded me of that amazing prof prophetic saying from Mr. Robert McCall himself. I'm done, but I'm sick of the mud. Yes, absolutely. It is. It is pure, absolutely insanity. And, you know, it's crazy. So, 
prep your water, be able to sanitize it, be able to purify it, be able to produce clean drinking water for you and your family. Um, plain and simple. There's tons of products out there. We've got them in our in, on our website that Aqua Tabs, whatever, whoever, whatever, do what's right for you and your family. Um, I am not here to produce or put out all of our products because that's not the point. The point is you and I have to do what's right for our family. Pure, plain, and simple. And if you want to know how to filter water, if you go over to the Virginia Bushcrafters channel, he did an amazing premiere the other day where he was gathering water from a natural water source, poured it through his bandana to filter out all the grime, the grut, the sticks, the stones, the things that may hurt your bones. Ha ha ha. But then he boiled it. And he had dinner after that, using that particular water. Zombie Forest, good to see you, good to see you, good to see you. Um, yes. Zombie Forest said, the only reason that there is instance of water problems, two reasons, the public office and mass corrupt America industrial complex, but good morning to everybody. You're absolutely right. Good to see you, my brother. Welcome in. Have a cup of Joe. Have a cup of Nancy. Have a cup of tea. Whatever it may be. Ha, ha, ha. I'm on a roll this morning. Good morning. Good to see you and welcome in. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Um, so with that, folks, and, and here's a useless plethora of information that nobody cares about, including me. But I'm going to mention it real quick. Guess what, y'all? Uh, Reddick went public. Uh, you can buy shares in Reddick for $50.44 uh, cents a share if you got in early. But now, since they went public, they are now worth $9 billion. Okay? They went public. Shares of Reddick soared nearly 50% as the social media platform made its long-awaited stock market debut. Investors pushed Reddick's value close to $9 billion after it began trading on the New York Stock Exchange on Thursday, with the company's share price peaking at $57.80 before it closed at $50.44. Good for Reddick. Who cares? I don't. Now, by the way, for all of those wonderful people, which is you, 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 and, and you, way back there sitting there next to the wood-burning stove, kind of kind of warm and cozy and half sleep, but still listening in, folks, I want to share something with you, something amazing that's going down this year, and I'll be right back. Hey folks, Vision Preparedness here. I hope everybody has an amazing day today. I just want to take a moment to talk to you about Bug Out Weekend 2024 in Dayton, Ohio. The date is set, that is May 16th through the 19th. We're going to have more people, more classes, more of everything, folks, because the world is becoming more mayhemic. You don't want to miss it, folks. We're going to have some amazing instructors, some amazing courses taught, and some amazing conversation. Make sure that you are there, folks. More details to come, as well as open registration, and we will see you at the Bug Out Weekend, May 16th through the 19th in Dayton, Ohio. Take care, and God bless. Hey, also folks at the Bug Out Weekend 2024 will be the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off Challenge. Folks, all of you grill masters, all you camp chefs, all you bushcraft cooks, folks, come on out. There's going to be a challenge for a cook-off to beat VP. If you win the first level, you go up against me. Bring your best, bring your attitude, and bring some fun. 
folks, you can register for the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off when you register for the Bug Out Weekend. You have to. You have to do all of it at once when you register for the Bug Out Weekend. No exceptions. Folks, we're going to have a great time, some great prizes. And if you win the Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off, then you get the chance to go up against me, VP, folks. So bring your A-game, folks. I've been challenged. I've had a bunch of people tell me they're coming for the title. But guess what? Here's all I can tell y'all. The champ is here. The champ is here. We'll see you at Bug Out Weekend 2024. Take care, folks. God bless and stay safe. And we're back. And 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 Devil Dog, don't don't hate, bruh. Celebrate. You need to be focusing on the first round. Don't worry about me, okay? You need to make it through the first round. Uh, Salty Dog, good question. Uh, I don't know if we'll live stream the cook-off, but it will definitely uh, be recorded and put up as a video uh, some point in time. We may see. Don't know. That's right, Happy Mac. Bring your own woodchuck. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely without a doubt. Yeah. So, you know, the bushcraft hiking cook-off is going to be amazing along with the bug out weekend, folks. Details are coming. We're, we're, we're doing some things. We're, we're, we're that close to opening up registration. Just waiting on one more confirmation. And uh, it's going to be a great time. We've got some amazing judges. Speaking of, there is Professor Mad Shad himself, who will be one of the amazing judges, along with the Virginia Bushcrafter and the COO. They will be judging the first round. And, and because the COO understands and knows the utmost importance she is not going to judge the final round. Whoever the winner is goes against VP. We're going to have a special guest judge that will step in and judge the final round to beat VP. So it's going to be a great time. Either way it goes. Uh, we're going to have a good time um, and all of that. Um, so, you know, it's going to be fun. I, I can't wait. It's going to be absolutely amazing, folks. And it's absolutely free. Doesn't cost you a dime. And for those of you that are on the fence and thinking about coming, it would be a great time to meet and greet and be with a whole bunch of like-minded people. We're going to be in the same place we were last year. And I will actually drop the details from last year because it is in the same place. There's the details on our website. You can look at the map. We're going to be at the same place. It's uh, Possum Creek Metro Park. We're going to be at the Sugar Maple Campsite, folks. It's going to be a great time. So y'all that are thinking about coming, let's do it. <laughs> Devil Dog said, let's open up registration already. Dude, got to give it time. It has to cook and simmer and bake and boil and bubble. Okay, it's coming. All right. Hold on to your britches, big boy. You'll get to register. Don't worry. And if you don't get to register, I'm sure you'll show up anyway. But please register, kind sir. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, Holly said, registration, please. Yes, we're working on it, folks. And yes, you're right, Jennifer. There will be coal. Coal will be there. Just look for me. And about eight inches away from me, there will be coal. He will not. Be far, but yes, <laughs> more like handpicking VP opponent. Nope, it's going to be very simple, and the judges are of the utmost uh, character and precise. They all have their own little topics that they will be judging. As you find bushcrafter and cookers, barbecue, grill masters, kitchen mafia folks, whatever y'all call yourselves, the great cooks that you are, people, the judges will be fair and bipartisan, and uh, they're going to do what they do. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Big Time. Get it right. I'm sorry. Big time. You're right. Big time. Hold on to your britches. Okay. Registration is going to open big time. I know you're ready to bring some smoke, but you know, you need to be focusing on the first round and don't worry about the second round of the bug out weekend. Um, that's right. Uh, coffee first. <laughs> you're absolutely you're coffee. You know what? Like Mad Chad said, you can bribe him if you want, but it has nothing to do with his decision. He said, y'all want to beat vision preparedness, bring pie to the judges, Mad Chad and the Virginia Bushcrafter and the COO. Don't forget her. She's judging the first round too. And they all have their things that they will be judging. That's right. Big time. I'm sorry, Mr. Big time. But anyway, folks, so because the world is so mayhemic and debauchery and all that other mess going on and, and, and you got poo, throwing rocks at, at Z and you got ping pong ready to invade this and that. And who know else what's going on in the world? You got grandpa ice cream. Doesn't even know what day of the week it is. We're just going to sit here and open discussion for the next uh, 10 minutes. Yes. Love and life said, God willing, we'll be there with a little something, something for everyone. You know what? Love and life. I love y'all. And I hope y'all can make it Folks, it's free. It doesn't cost you nothing but your time, your effort, and some drive time. There's going to be some amazing people there. Jennifer says, no coffee brew off. No, no coffee brew off. It, it's 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 coffee's coffee. Everybody brews good coffee. I don't care if it's bad coffee. It's coffee. And coffee makes the world smile. And, and I can't wait. Because last year, I made uh, an amazing friendship with my man, Ghost Lincoln. Uh, his tent was on the other side, directly across from mine. And it's so funny because every morning we both would wake up and walk out of our tents pretty much almost simultaneously. And each of us are holding a cup of coffee. We will hold up our coffee cup, give a head nod, smile, and go on about our business. And it was great. It was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a good time, folks. We're going to have some amazing classes. We're going to have some amazing giveaways. Um, that's right. The dates. Thank you there. Big time. Uh, Bug Out Weekend, Dayton, Ohio, May 16th through the 19th. We're going to have some great prizes. Some of y'all have donated some amazing stuff. Allegedly. I don't know the, the whole story behind it, but allegedly. There's going to be a bug out bag giveaway. We're going to be having uh, amazing classes. We're actually going to do a bug out bag hike. So bring your bug out bag, bring your gear that you have not tested out. This is the, the perfect place, safe environment. Test out your gear, test out the gear that you're not sure about how it works. There are tons of people around to help. That's right, Mad Chad. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Mad Chad. Allegedly. Correct. Um, we're going to have some great courses. We're going to do a bug out bag hike. We're going to hike one of the trails this year. And um, I have to get with the Supreme Board to figure out which trail we're going to hike this year. Um, uh, much tested says, is anyone going from Minnesota? Uh, I don't know, but the chat will tell. Um, Ha! <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Not at all, my friend. Not at all, big time. Not at all. You know how we do. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You, you, you walked into the halls of the sacred kitchen, big time, and were allowed to prepare breakfast. So there is no sarcasm, my friend. None whatsoever. So there you go. Get over it. Get with the program and bring your best if you want to win the bushcraft hiking cook-off, period, plain and simple, you know? Yeah. So anybody doing anything extra fun this weekend? Anybody, everybody, anybody doing anything unusual for the first time in a long time? I actually was splitting wood yesterday. I cut wood because I got trees down 
and I finally had time to get to it, and I cut, I got pretty much almost one of one whole tree, but I have five trees that fell, and they're, they're, they're prime firewood, so I'll be doing that, stacking, packing, and racking uh, for the next year, and all of that good stuff, yes. There you go. Coffee said, uh, learning to make laundry detergent. It's next on my list. Yeah. I, I looked at some of the ingredients and stuff to make laundry detergent coffee. And I personally, this is me, have uh, determined allegedly it would end up being something like um, C to the four or Tannerite. So I said, you know what? I'm not going to mess with this because if I do... I may make something go boom. So there you go. Uh, Holly said, nope, it's raining cats and dogs. Yep, raining there. The sun is actually out here, but it's cold. It is currently 34 degrees, so it's cold. Yes. Prepper Book Club says gardening, 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 and prep hall. There you go. There you go. There you go, Pibble Mama. Doing my normal farming and playing. There you go. Plain and simple. That's that's the way to do it, folks. Lots to plant today. I know that's right, Prepper Book Club. We bought fruit trees the other day and stuck them out there. And um, uh, uh, Big Time told me I need to go to Rural King. And they got berry bushes on sale. So I may take a trip over there and see if I can get some more blueberries in blackberries because last year I got zero because of two individuals, the COO and Cole, every time they went outside last summer, um, they strolled by, strolled by the blueberry patch and the blackberry patch and ate and walked and talked and pl played. And I got zero, none, not one. And uh, yeah, I hope they were good. But uh, we're going to do that. Uh, the Virginia Bushcrafter said, Vision Preparedness, Devil Dog Prepper, I'm sure the aroma of the food will be so good that anyone at the park will be walking over to get a meal. Uh, well, you know, that's true, Virginia Bushcrafter. I'm going to leave that alone, you know, because I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole. I'll, I'll save that for Turmoil Tuesday. Uh huh. <laughs> coffee said, wait, what? I could blow up something? Uh, no, coffee, no. But I'm saying me because I, I have that mindset of making that kind of paste into these little uh, white square blocks just takes me down a different rabbit hole. And, you know, yeah, I, it would not be laundry detergent. So um, Shannon said she has snow right now. Oof, not good. Mad Shad said it's snowing in Cleveland and it's 29. Man, it is sunny and bright and cold here in uh, central Ohio. It is 34 degrees. Not good, not good. Uh, no, coffee, you won't blow up anything if you follow the right directions. I went in a different direction, okay? Yes, you are right, Mad Shad, Rule King Rocks. I'm going there today. I'm going to take a trip. Uh, I may take Cole with me. I'm not sure. He may go with me, and we may go on over there. Uh, you're absolutely right, Pilgrim. Yes, it is. It is absolutely. But, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. See, Love and Life. Now, Love and Life makes soap. I saw the video. So if you want to learn how to make soap laundry detergent, go over to Love and Life's channel, folks, and look for theirs. They said making laundry soap is easy. We made five gallons, very cheap to make. That's true. Absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate you, Devil Dog, uh, also known as Big Time. I appreciate you, bro. And you do a good job of that. I can't, I, I, I will not dispute that, sir. You, my friend, find some amazing stuff and I thank you. Yeah, I thank you. You know, it ain't personal, bro. This is business. This is business. The Bushcraft Hiking Cook-Off is going to be business. Business. Spell it any way you want to. It is business. It's business. I am the champ. I am the self-proclaimed champ. And you want the title? You got to come beat the champ. Yeah. 
exactly, Ed. I'm with you, bro. I went out there and saw one day, you know, the bushes are full of berries and they look nice and can't wait to pick them and get, you know, four or five, six quarts. And all of a sudden I'm out there and there's like nothing, nothing. And, and how I knew, see, Cole told on everybody. Every time I went to the blueberry bush and he was outside, he would come running over to me and just sit there and look up at me like, uh, dad, can I have one? And that's how I knew. And I started asking questions. And yeah, that's how I knew. Cole told on everybody. Um, so, you know, yeah. But yeah, folks, get, get, everybody should be starting a garden. We got what? It's 11 o'clock. Good gracious almighty. Everybody should be growing their own fruits and vegetables. We picked up eight fruit trees the other day. And uh, uh, we got, what did we get? We got plum, we got two plum trees. We got two peach trees. We got two pear trees. We got two nectarine trees. Yeah, I, I, I'm, we're expanding and hopefully next weekend I'll be doing some uh, garden prepping and getting ready to plant. The COO has already started the seedlings and they're growing and everything is going to be good. And Professor Shad said today's laundry day. Boom. Yeah. Laundry go boom. That's right. Yeah. If I make soap, if I try to make laundry detergent, because I'll go down a different rabbit hole and start saying, well, what if I put in some of this and put in some of that? Because I was the kid growing up that would take, uh uh-oh, we've been invaded, folks. There he is. Dad's little boy. Hi. How are you, son? You good? Mommy, take you outside? You okay? Yeah. I was the little guy who would take the plastic pill bottles, fill them half with Drano and half with water, put the cap on it, set it and step way back and watch that thing heat up and melt and go boom. Yeah, that was me. Uh, (laughs) Plan B said, will there be shrimp? I don't know. I can't tell you. I don't know what everybody's cooking and I definitely am not telling what I'm cooking. So there we go. Old Mutt, my man, my man. Good to see you, my friend. Old Mutt says power outages due to ice storm. No, sir. Get down. Thank you. And sit. Thank you. Due to New York, hook my furnace, freezer, and refrigerator to my Jackery 3000. Now, relaxing with a cup of coffee. My friend, Old Mutt, I'm going to tell y'all this. Old Mutt showed up last year at the bug out weekend and Cole is doing what Cole does. He's being mayhemic and old mutt, my friend, I hope you come this year because I cannot wait to see you and, and see what you bring to the table again this year for the bug out weekend. It's going to be a total blast. And as y'all see, Cole is being Cole and doing what Cole does. There you go. See, he got rescued. There's mom with his favorite treats. Love it. Old Mutt, I hope you're doing well, my friend. It is so good to see you. Uh, Zombie 4 says it's 74 in Louisiana. See, y'all just don't. Yeah. (laughs) Mad Chad said, shouldn't have done the rent cycle. Yeah. But yeah, there's Cole. Y'all saw Cole. He he is just uh, amazing. He's going to be there. And he can't wait to see his Uncle Dan and his and Uncle Shad and 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 Uncle Brad and and everybody. So he's going to be uh, the biggest puppy in the park because he's not even one years old yet. And uh, uh, yeah, Prepper Book Club said I put some fruit trees several weeks ago. Yeah, get them done, folks. Get them done. But Old Mutt, I I hope the power outage doesn't last long, my friend, but I know you're ready for it. I've seen some of the things that you have, and I know you and your family are safe because Old Mutt is a prepper from way back. Been doing it a long time. He is a plethora of information, and, and I just enjoy talking with him and listening to the stories and the things that he's done. And, and has created and has put together. Yeah. Yeah. 
it, it's going to be, yeah, Prepper Book Club. Cole is huge. He's about uh, 110 pounds, and he will be, oh, today is his 11th month birthday. 11? What, is, what month are we in? March? Yes, he is 11 months old today. Yes, 110 pounds. Yes, he is going to be a beast. Uh, old Mutt said, 100 miles from New York City. There you go, my friend. Well, good. I'm glad you're doing well and everything is going to be okay for you and your family. But folks, y'all are amazing. I know it is past 11 o'clock. Any questions for me? And uh, I'm going to let everybody do the things. Salty Dog said, Cole going to pull a Tanya Harding on the cook-off champ. Good boy. <laughs> now, see, I, I he understands you don't bite the hand that feeds you. Um, he, this morning, with his high vitamin, high nutrition, high protein kibble, had some beef put in there, and he was absolutely ecstatic. And he ate the whole bowl and looked at me and said, I want more. So, yeah. Nunya, Texas on the back 20. Good morning and welcome in. Good to see you. Good to see you. But, uh, folks, y'all are amazing. And, and I truly do appreciate each and every one of y'all this morning for joining us Coffee Talk. I, I hope somebody does something amazing today. Be kind to somebody. Be kind to a stranger. Hold a door for the elderly, the older generation, folks. We got to look out for them. And, and remember this, folks. Keep prepping because your family depends on you and it depends on your life. This is Vision Preparedness. God bless everybody. Have an amazing day. Have some fun. Do something nice. Make a stranger smile and keep on doing what you're doing. And we will see you in the next video. Vision Preparedness. God bless everybody and take care. Time is now.